Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center and time for another Nature to Go. Now, if I say to you, egg, you probably would think of a chicken's egg, right? The white ones we find at the grocery store. But chicken eggs aren't just white. There's lots of different colors. There's the sort of reddy brown and there's pinks. There's even some that are sort of bluish green. And when you start looking at bird eggs from all the different kinds of birds there are, there's just an amazing array of colors. And how does that happen? Why does that happen? That's what we're gonna talk about this time. Scientists have discovered that all of the different colors of bird eggs that we see are created predominantly from two main pigments. The first is bill of verdin. That's what's give us those blue-green colors. The second one is protoporphyrin. That's what makes the brownish red colors. Combining the two pigments gives us all of those different colors and creates the speckles and splotches and the other colors that are laid over the main colors. White eggs simply don't have any pigment on them. So why are there all these different colors of bird eggs? There's a couple of different theories that are out there. First one, for camouflage. That way the eggs are able to blend into the surroundings. Predators are gonna have a harder time spotting them. Now for birds that have their nests in cavities, like inside trees or in birdhouses, their eggs tend to be light colored because they don't have to worry about being spotted by predators, but being light colored may mean it's also easier for them to be seen by the parents when they come back inside. Another idea is that it allows the parent birds to be able to recognize their eggs more easily because you've got some birds like cowbirds that lay their eggs in other birds' nests. They're a parasite. And many birds are able to recognize that those eggs are not theirs. And so then they will kick those eggs out. They'll actually pick them up and drop them out of the nest. One theory is the black male theory. And that is that the females lay these brightly colored eggs in order to convince the male to help out with sitting on the eggs while they're waiting to be hatched. So that one's called the black male theory. It helps the female get a break, gives the female time to go and get food. The eggs are different colors and have the speckles and things because in a lot of cases, they are helping to block out the sun, especially harmful UV rays. But at the same time, some research have, has been done that shows that lighter colored eggs will incubate faster. And then another research study showed that darker colored eggs are more likely to be laid if you're a bird nesting farther north. The closer you get to the equator, the lighter colored your eggs will be. And the farther north you are, your eggs are darker because that helps keep the eggs warm. If the, uh, who's ever incubating has to leave the eggs to go and get food, the eggs will stay warmer for that little bit of time that they're away. One last important role of the coloration on the eggs comes when we see the splotches and freckles and lines and things. That's an extra layer of pigment on top of the underlying color. And sometimes the shells may not be as thick and the female is adding that extra coloration and it helps to strengthen the shells while she's incubating them. From white to pink to rust to brown, if they're plain, if they're speckled, if they're round, if they're pointy, bird eggs are as varied as the birds that are laying them. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go, and we'll talk to you again next time.